Hey everyone, Matt here from the Tech Corner, and are you looking to start a YouTube channel? Well, that's what I did a couple months ago. And when I started, I was watching all these different YouTubers thinking to myself, wow, their videos are such high quality, everything's so clear and crisp, the sound sounds so good. And I just thought, man, I could probably do that, right? You take a camera like this one, and you put some really fancy lenses on it, and boom, YouTube sensation. Not quite. What I what didn't come to mind at first is that that Rebel XT I just held in front of you, that doesn't take video. And that lens is actually really noisy. Both are from 2006. And the microphones that I had were USB, great for voiceovers, but not for what I'm doing here. So when I first started out, I took the advice of what other tech YouTubers were telling me to do. Use the tech you have. So I started using my Olympus Tough TG860. And if you watch any of my earlier videos, you'll know that I'm not actually in the frame because the sound on that's not great and I just showed you the subject that I was talking about. So as I continued making videos, I wanted to include myself so that people knew who was talking and really kind of my response, especially when I was unboxing things, you know, how excited I was and how much I enjoyed the products that I was opening and my response overall. So I then started shooting with my Nexus 6P, but it would be in front of me, well, if you're me, it would be in front of me, and I wasn't able to see what's going on. And there was a lot of running around back and forth to see that I was in the frame, and if you look at some of those videos, you'll notice that my head is cut off about here, and I really couldn't see much of what was going on. So, as I worked my way through it, I kind of figured out how to do things a little bit better. I got one of these microphones, which is a lavalier mic, and you just clip it to yourself and you have good sound. If you want to know more about that mic, just go ahead and check out my video here of what mics I use for YouTube. Um, and then I also bought an extension cable for it because I'm sitting about mm, four and a half feet away from my camera and I couldn't reach it with that actual cable. So as I continued, I got some advice from a friend on Twitter, JD Tech, check out his channel, I'll link it down below and he said to check out a shotgun mic. So I ended up getting one of these Amperage shotgun mics for your phone. So it made the sound pretty good. Again, that's in that same microphone video that I told you about already, and it's directional, so I didn't have to wear something on me at all times, or I could use it when I'm outside to block out some of the noise, and it did have a little bit of a windscreen on it. But the camera would heat up really hot, and it felt like you could basically cook an egg on it, that's how hot it would get. And I'm a cooking teacher, so that's the analogy I'm just gonna keep using. So I bit the bullet and upgraded to the Canon Rebel T7i, which I'm shooting on now, and an Insignia shotgun mic. If you wanna know more about those items, check them out here in my unboxing of the T7i a dual unboxing. So that brings me to today. Maybe you're shooting on a phone like my Nexus 6T or if you got an iPhone, something like my SE, and you want to capture a little bit more in the shot. And that brings me to today's unboxing. And this is the Leaky, I don't know how to pronounce this, it's L-I-E-Q-I. And it is a three-in-one camera lens kit for your phone that actually has a built-in flashlight to help with lighting. So let's unbox it, see what's inside, see how it works. Okay, so you just slide this off. It's a pretty nice box. It's magnetically held together. Take out this little paper and you have the lens itself. So this is the 0.4 to 0.6 wide angle lens. And you can see here that it has the light at the top that is actually three different brightnesses. And it charges at the top with a micro USB. So let's keep looking inside the box. So like I said, this is a three in one setup. So you have a little bit of foam, have a holder. So here you have a nice little carrying case for it with the brand name on the front. I'm not gonna try again. You have a short, but at least it's included, a micro USB cable. You have a nice microfiber cloth. It's white, so you'll see all the dirt, but they included it so that you can wipe off the lenses. And that's it. So I got the black model, okay, because I only own black phones and I think it looks a little bit more stealthy. 
and it actually comes in black, silver, champagne, or rose gold. So pick your color and there you go. And it actually feels substantial. Uh, the lens itself, I'll get this out of the way. The lens itself is made of metal. It's heavy, so it screws out here. All right, so you have the part that attaches to your phone with the light, and then you have the lens itself. And the lens actually comes apart as well. So you have the 15 time zoom macro lens here, and then you also have the wide angle lens. Basically, you take the macro one, because that's the only one that fits into the clip, put that here. So if you want to get some close shots, you could just use this. And then if you want something wide angle, you go ahead and put that in on top. So, so I'm going to take a couple pictures and show you the difference between what you get with the camera alone. I'll use my iPhone SE. Okay, so while it's small, this actually puts out a decent amount of light from the 10 LEDs that it has. It helps fill light. You don't want to use it in a completely dark room, but it does help fill it out. And the pictures come out pretty clear as you were able to see. And basically, if you just want to step up that game at a little bit more into the frame that you're trying to shoot or just get really, really close, this is a good way to do it. So you may look at that iPhone that you have in your pocket and think to yourself, Oh man, I wish I could start a vlog, I wish I could start a YouTube channel, but this is all I have. I don't want to do it on this. First of all, keep in mind, this iPhone SE, which only has the parts of an iPhone 6S inside of it, it still shoots in 4K, so you can get great shots. I've done multiple videos with this and been impressed by what it was able to put out before I got my T7i. And remember, 4K is still higher than what my T7i does. It's just obviously different technologies. So if you want to take that iPhone that you have to the next level, take the camera, put it on the front here, all right, or on the rear. So now you have that lens. Again, it lights up, okay? You get something like this. This is the Joby Gorillapod, and this is the Joby Smartphone XL stand. It doesn't fit my iPhone SE, because like I said, when I started, I didn't even have the iPhone SE. So as an example, I'll just use my Nexus 6P. All right, so you take the camera, slap it on the back, all right, so now you have this lens on it. So you take that amperage mic, you pop it in. Now you have a shotgun mic. You have your lenses with a flash. You get your Joby Gorilla Pod. You can set it up in front of you or you can use it like a selfie stick. I have a selfie stick, so. And boom, now you have this setup where you can take wide angle pictures, you can use the light to just fill in a little bit of light. That's not a big difference, but you know, from what it was, it's still good. You have a shotgun mic for better audio and you can shoot in 4K. So I said it was going to be a quick unboxing, but it actually turned into a video of all the stuff you could use to get a YouTube channel started. But you did get an unboxing of the Likey three in one flashlight lens kit for your smartphone. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of the products I spoke about in this video, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos like this in the future, as well as possibly enter some giveaways. This has been Matt here at the Tech Corner. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.